to be busting the minor pentatonic ret in this lesson. We're going to take a very isolated part of the scale. We're going to add something to it to make things different. The minor pentatonic pattern that most people learn right off the bat is what I call the six string root. Uh, we'll do it in A. And the overall scale, the big pattern, is this. That's the pentatonic scale that most people learn right away. We're going to use a small area of this scale. I call it a functional area. A functional area is the part of the scale that's very easy to access fingering-wise. Uh, we're going to use the fourth string. Up. That's the area. I have numbered the notes uh, based on the scale degrees. That's the seventh of the minor pentatonic scale. The root, the third of the minor pentatonic scale. Fourth, fifth, seven, root, third. It's important to know those uh, intervals. Now, uh, in the minor pentatonic scale, there's what's commonly called the box, the minor box, the pentatonic box. It's these four notes right here. That's a very important area that we'll be accessing. If you have a rut, you're kind of sick of that area because you've done it so much. That's actually a good thing, by the way have to have a rut if we're going to bust it, right? In order to get a rut, you have to do something so much that it becomes a rut. So ruts are good. Um, they're the things that you build on. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one note to this pattern. Uh, between the fifth and the seventh, there are two notes that could be a sixth, okay? The note that's closest to the fifth I call it the Aeolian 6. The Aeolian 6, sometimes people will call it a natural 6. Uh, the one closer to the 7 is what I call the Dorian 6. So we're going to add the Dorian 6. We're going to save the Aeolian 6 for the next lesson. We're going to add the Dorian 6 to the minor pentatonic pattern. So we have. Everything else is the same. You got the minor pentatonic with the Dorian 6 added. The Dorian 6 is a gives a whole different flavor to the thing. Still kind of bluesy, or it can be. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this in the context of a 12-bar blues. I've just looped a, a basic 12-bar shuffle into my looper here, and I'm going to show you how to incorporate the Dorian 6 into a, a solo. The Dorian 6 will work at any point in the 12-bar form. Over any of the chords, it'll work but it's especially strong over the four chord. The one chord, the four chord. The Dorian six is strong over the four chord because it's the major third of the four. So uh, the third of the chord is what I call a money note or a target note. It's the strongest note that you can play against the chord. Hear that? So when you play the Dorian 6 over the 4 chord, it just like says 4. Okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play an unaccompanied 12-bar solo here and, uh, and demonstrate this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to emphasize the Dorian 6 on the 4 chord. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, four, 
four, one, five. So you could hear the chord changes because when I hit the Dorian six on the four chord, it defined four. So I've looped this 12 bar form and I'll improvise to it. Here we go. six adds a um, little extra color to the minor pentatonic scale and that's a, a good way to start busting the rut for the minor pentatonic. Uh, any, any chord progression where uh, that's consonant with the Dorian um, can be used. Um, another example would be like if you were doing um, I don't know, Evil Ways by Santana, where you go from A minor in the key of A. I think the song's originally in G, but we'll do it in A to keep things uh, uh, simple. Uh, you go from A minor to D. So, hear the Dorian six there? Um, I'm going to, to loop that. Let's see what we can come up with here. jam over that progression for a second. So you can see how that works. Um, there are other situations where the Aeolian 6 would be better, and we'll talk about those next time. In the meantime, you can use the Dorian 6 added to the minor pentatonic scale to bust your pentatonic purgatory. We'll see you the next time. Mm -hmm.